today we have a video that I am super excited for. I've been waiting for this for such a long time. You're going to be putting together my bridesmaids proposal boxes. I'm going to be showing you everything that I've got that I'm going to put in my boxes and we will put them together. There's a couple things that I've made that I do have to put the finishing touches on so we'll do that together as well and I will show you the finished product. I am so excited. One of my friends lives out of state right now, so I'm going to bring her box with me when I go see her this week. And the rest of my girls, I'm going to ask next month during our engagement party. So let me show you everything I got. All right, so here is an overview. So first I have these acrylic bins and they just slide out, which I thought was nice. So I can just lay everything in there. They can see it nicely from the top. And then afterwards, they can still use the boxes for storage or anything. Next, I've got these ribbons to just tie around or in whatever we end up doing. I've got these candles from Walmart. They smell so good. They're peach and mango. Next, I've got these resin incense dishes that I made. There's only three here. I have one more to make. It's halfway done upstairs still. And the incense stick just goes in the little lip right there. And I thought, that was so simple and cute. I've got these girl silhouette trinket dishes that I made for each girl and these little engravings I'm going to paint in with like a lighter tan slash beige color. So we've got to do that still. And I've just got all of this to put in the bottom so the vases that I have right here don't break. I'm obsessed with these. These are my favorite things that I'm putting in the boxes. They're just these abstract face vases. They're really thin. They're only like three inches wide if even so. I am super excited about that. I got one for myself as well. Here's what I've got going on in mine. I have the burnt orange and the pink and the tan, just like my colored stuff that I'm putting in the bridesmaids boxes. And I'm in love with it. It's on my mantle and I just love how much it fans out. I was gonna get those flower arrangements all cut up and put into each of these vases, but one, they're not gonna fit probably. I don't think I had enough. And also if the girls that I'm asking don't like those colors, then you know. Okay, first things first, we have to put all of these guys into the boxes so we can lay everything else on top. So let's get into that. We're gonna have to play with that as we set stuff in there. But for now, it's good. I am putting two bags in each bin. I do not want those vases to break. They're a little bit thin. Two down. I opted for this paper too, just because it's recyclable. Maybe they can reuse it for some crafts that they're doing themselves. Next, what we're going to do is paint the outlines on these trays so they have time to dry before I throw them on in there. And let's go. Just throw some paint on. And I spread it around with my finger and just push it into all the cracks. I lost my paintbrush for this, which makes it so much easier. Finn, come here, buddy. when the other three are done. We finished all four of them. I am back and now we can finally get into it. Look how cute they turned out. Now I just have to decide which boxes I want to put these two in and which ones I want to put these two in because clearly they are different. I don't know if it'll really matter. I might just like randomly throw them in boxes, but yeah, here we go. So I've gotten them all laid out and we are going to start putting them together. So I'm just going to take the drawers out and set them on top. They can just be next to each other and it'll be easy. Okay. Let me move this a little bit. This is the biggest piece, so I'm gonna put these in first. Sure. Okay, so clearly I have to put it like this. So, okay. Off to an interesting start. I didn't think these were gonna take up as much of the space. Like I literally looked at the measurements before I bought them and then I looked at the measurements of the boxes and for some reason I thought I'd have a little bit more space, but that's okay. Next, maybe like the dishes. So like, maybe I'll set that here. I don't know, no. I didn't think I was gonna have enough stuff, but now I feel like I have too much stuff. Um, Cause I wanted everything to be kind of laid out nicely, but clearly that's not what's gonna happen here and that's totally okay. I was even gonna put a box of incense in each box because 
I have the incense dishes that I made them, but I just didn't do that. So maybe I'll put a candle like in this corner, like that. Just, I guess, throw those on top. Now I guess the incense dishes, should I put them on the side like this or should I just lay them over? I think I'm just gonna lay them over. Huh. This one needs to get down a little bit, there we go. So I'm gonna put it like around both ways, so. There we go. All right, let's see how well this works out because if it doesn't work out, I'm not gonna be trying to spend an hour here. So I'm trying to like keep the orange in like the middle. There should definitely be an easier way to do this, but I don't know what it is, so. So cute, look! That is actually really cute. Super happy with it. This is actually so cute. I'm gonna show you the color and the light. Look at how absolutely adorable that is. I love the double layered bow. Like that is so cute. I'm gonna do this to the other three and then I will come back. Okay, so here they are with the bows. I love them so much. Last thing, I forgot that I had two candles. Dig a little section out for it so it doesn't fall. Yes. Oh my gosh. Are you serious? This is so cute. This is still gonna fall. <laughs> what? Okay, here are the finished boxes, other than this one, because it doesn't have the incense dish. Look at how cute these are. I love these. I love how they turned out. I love the bow. The bow really made the whole box. I'm also gonna put in the little notes that say like will you be my bridesmaid um sorry about the lighting look at this it's all sunlight right now but yeah so i'm just gonna put those in there and i will show you when they are completely done All right, so those are my bridesmaid proposal boxes. Thank you guys so much for making them with me. Comment down below. Let me know if there's anything that you would have changed because I went through so many color schemes, what I was going to put in there. I took things out. I put things in. It took a hot minute, but I'm super happy with how they turned out. So if you want to see more of my wedding planning videos in the future, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss those. I have been thrifting a bunch of stuff to decorate my tables with, so maybe I'll do like a haul of that. And um, it's not all going to be wedding stuff. It's going to be normal crafty stuff too. So give me a follow if that's something you're interested in. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!